Okay, today we're talking about simple neck stretches to do for when you've got neck pain, a stiff neck, headaches, that sort of thing. Especially for people who are working at a workstation, computers, that sort of thing with really poor posture in their spine and they have that forward head carry. So today's exercise is called retraction or chin tucks. So what you need to be doing is, is if you're at home and you're sitting on the sofa or you're sitting in the car or you're just sitting on a bench, that sort of thing, I want you doing these little chin tucks, but you've got to make sure you're in a good spine alignment first. You can't be sitting in the snaps position like this and expect to do the chin tuck, it's not going to work. So what I want you making sure of is you are in a neutral spine here, all right? So you're really making sure that your spine is in this upright position, the neutral position, not in a, not in a flex position, upright position. And if anything, you can have a little bit of core switch on with the pelvic floor. Um, shoulders come before, they're going to be in this neutral position as well, so sort of down and back a little bit. And then your head is what we're going to work on. So if your spine from here down is set really well, you'll do really well with this exercise. So what I want you to imagine is when you are facing forward, okay, you've got to keep your eyes on something. So keep your eyes pinned on something that's at eye level. And I like putting two fingers on the chin. So two fingers here, keep my eyes level. And what I'm going to try and do is just gently pull my head away from my fingers and then return. Making sure you're not going backwards like this. You're not going to, I don't want you going backwards like that and I definitely don't want you going down and lengthening out too much. It's simple retraction. It's like your head is just sliding back on your spine. All right, so head here, just think about this sliding back on the spine. So you've actually got to keep it level as you go backwards. And what that's doing is upper cervical flexion and lower cervical extension, which is the opposite of slumping. So here, I'm in lower cervical flexion and upper cervical extension. So in this position, I'm putting pressure posteriorly on my lower disc, so my C5, 6, 7, which is always the ones that are gonna go first with bad posture as far as bulging and degenerative problems. They're always like this. And I'm jamming my upper cervical window extension. I'm ramming those facet joints into there, sitting like this. So it's basically the complete opposite. Okay, so this is the bad position. Get out of that position for a start, but then the retraction is go right back to the complete opposite of what you were. So there's the extreme there. The other extreme is coming into here. Now when you've got major disc problems with physio, we get them doing retraction extension. That's a little bit more advanced. Today is always about making sure you're just doing simple exercises like retraction, chin duck, to try and improve your one posture, the two mobility through your spine. And it helps stretch out, gets those joints out of that jam position, which is a great break to do anyway. So you're doing this not only to loosen up, get some more flexibility through that spine and, and try and prevent that soft tissue creep of all this position, but you're actually just every hour getting out of that position and giving your spine a break from being like this, which it shouldn't be like that, but if it is like this, it brings out a position, helps you reset that posture, teaching you that you've got to be out of that position and back in. At the same time, you're stretching and actually helping it get better. So, make sure though with this one too, that you're not going back too far. Okay, I want you to go back to where the pain is, but don't go into the pain. So if you imagine, Pain, what I mean by is a stretch pain. So if you feel fine, you come in and go, oh, there it is. Okay, that's as far as you go. Don't try and ram it backwards because you do too many of those. You're starting to start getting some referral down here maybe. You might be starting to get referral of your old headache that comes back. So just go to the pain and back. And when you get better and it feels looser, you'll find you'll be able to go more and more and more. So think about it's like making double chins in here. And another little trick is if you're struggling a little bit, Keep the tongue on your roof of your mouth, which is engages these throat muscles, which is like the core stability for your throat. It's like your TA for your throat and your spine, uh, your cervical spine. So keep your tongue on your roof of your mouth. I can't talk when I do that. And I would work on about sets of 10. So 10 repetitions per set, maybe a couple of sets, and start off every hour. So you're coming out of this position into this nice neutral spine sitting position if you have to sit. And work on that. If you can stand, even better. So get your spine a lot here. Remember, you can't do it in this position. You can't retract there. I just can't get backwards. 
So you've got to be in a good position here. So if you're a person who stands at work, you want to be in here and in that position too. Because there's a lot of standing jobs and a lot of standing postures that people are looking forward and doing this. Especially a physio, you know, where they're looking forward and their head's shearing forward and they have that sort of posture where they go, oh, right, full of that, and really stress here. So you need to be into this position here and pulling back. 